Hey Slick Review fans, coming at you with another video. This week we're checking out a couple of powered USB hubs that you can get over on Amazon. Now we've got two different versions to check out here depending on your use case. So the first one we'll look at, it's pretty simple, straightforward to the point. It's 10 USB hubs that are meant for data transfer. So if you're moving a lot of data, if you've got a lot of thumb drives, if you've got some hard drives and you need them all plugged in, we know all of our laptops these days, you're lucky if you even get a couple USB ports these days. So if you're a power user, I'm thinking photographers, videographers, I know me personally, making video content, I need a lot of these hubs, again, for hard drives, SD card readers, all sorts of stuff. And you can overload your ports or even plain run out of them if you're trying to use the ones that come built on your machine. So this solves that problem. And what's nice is that these, and this goes for both of these, they're both powered. So if you're plugging in a lot of power hungry stuff into one built in port on your laptop or your desktop or whatever, it can overload that port and it can even just make stuff run slow because you've got one USB port trying to do too much. And one of the issues there is it's trying to power a device while doing data transfer and it can just slow everything down and potentially overheat circuits and stuff. This takes care of a lot of those issues. So again, both of these are self-powered. They come with an adapter. This version here, that's all data transfer. The adapter is 30 watts. This one we're going to talk about in a second that has built-in charging for smart devices. That adapter is 36 watts just to account for charging all of your stuff. So again, this one's data transfer, 10 USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. So they should be plenty fast enough for anything you wanna plug in here, your SSDs, again, SD card readers, regular hard drives, all your peripherals, your keyboard, mouse, you can plug all that stuff in here and then just have one USB cord here on the side, go to your laptop or your desktop or whatever. And then on the other side here is where you do your power. Now we'll take a look at the power adapter here. This looks very similar for both of them. Again, the one with the charging ports is just rated a little bit higher, but here's your charging brick for the hub. The cord here is about three and a half feet long thereabouts. So just make sure your workstation, it's probably by a power outlet anyway, but just make sure that you've got a section free for that. Now, both hubs do come with a couple cables here, again, to connect to your machine. So right here, you've got just USB-A to USB-A. If you've got, you know, probably Windows users will like that one. And then here we've got USB-A to USB-C, probably for your Mac folks. And again, these are compatible with both major operating systems. So that's the data transfer one. Really not much else to say. It pretty much does what it says on the tin. One thing I do like about these is I like their kind of clean aesthetic. They're both just regular aluminum. You know, the plastic here is white. It seems uh, kind of Mac-ish, I think. <laughs> just kind of that sort of design with the aluminum here. So I kind of like it, looks classy. It'll blend in with your machine uh, and kind of look on purpose is what I like to say. So that's the data transfer one. Again, these ports are not really going to charge your devices. So that's not what it's built for. This one is primarily for data transfer. Now, if you don't necessarily need 10 data transfer ports, if seven will do it and three ports could be used for charging, I think this is probably the better option for most folks, unless you seriously need 10 ports for data transfer. But if at your workstation, if you also need to charge things like cameras, cell phones, tablets, you know, pretty much anything, this one has three ports that is specifically designed for power, and that's why this power brick is rated just a little bit higher than the other one here. So the one on the end is quick charge rated, so a lot of Android devices. Uh, I would also recommend using that one for tablets, really anything that's a little bit higher draw, you wanna use that one on the end. The next two ports will charge things just at kind of a standard normal speed. And then the seven ports here are for data transfer. These will not charge your devices. You can plug them in and it might say it's charging, but it's just not drawing enough power. That's not what they're designed for. You wanna use the three here on the end. So that's the two hubs that we have to check out today. Again, all the data transfer ports are USB 3.1 Gen 2. So that can get up to 10 gigabits a second. Of course, your mileage may vary, but that is what they're rated for. And again, one of the things I like is just that they look clean. 
They do what they say they're gonna do. Um, again, I think if I was going to recommend one, it just, it's really, it, it comes down to use case like everything else. If you ever find that you need to charge devices at the same time, but maybe you already have that solved at your workstation. Maybe you already have a couple chargers around, but then again, maybe you wanna free up those outlets or spaces on a power strip, something like that. And maybe you could just condense it all to one space on a power strip and get three charging outlets all in one device. And then, like I said, free up spaces on your power outlet or whatever. So that might be a good way to go there. But if you've got that sorted, if that's a non-issue for you at your workstation and you really need you know, more power to plug in 10 uh, USB devices, again, for data transfer, stuff like that, this is the one to go with here. So I do recommend these. They do what they say they're gonna do. Uh, one safety measure that they do have is they've got like protection built in. So if they sense that they're getting too hot, if you're really taxing them, if, if you're pushing it to the limit and it senses that it's starting to get too warm, it'll stop the circuits. It'll shut everything down so that it doesn't overheat and potentially destroy your devices. So it's got that protection built in. I haven't tested that but the manufacturer says that that is built in here. So overall, I do recommend these if you're in the market for a USB hub and you don't need any SD card readers, or again, if you've got all that other stuff sorted and you just need some USB ports, these are good options to go with. What I wanna know from you all is, do you have 10 devices to plug in here? Like who, who wants this one? I wanna hear from you down in the comments. Who needs 10 data transfer ports? I would love to know a use case for that. <laughs> because I really think the seven and three charging ports is probably the better option for most folks. But if you're in this camp, I'd like to hear from you what kind of stuff you're plugging in here. Let everybody know down in the comments. If you have any other comments or questions, please do leave them down below. I try to get to every single one. If you'd like to get in touch, my social media links are down in the description as well. And last, before we go, if you enjoy straightforward, to the point content like this where we find great deals online, please make sure to leave the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Pretty easy and free ways to help support the channel. That's all I've got for you this time, guys. I'm Zach, this is Slick Reviews, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up. Here's some other videos that I think you'll really like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well. See you at the next one.